Remember, remember the 5th of November. This little guy here, Oswald, say hello. Or not, your choice. There you go, he said hello. This kid is not scared of fireworks, but he's like very um, angry about them. So what we're gonna do, gonna check in pets at home, and we're gonna get a big ass bone for him to eat. Put an eardrops in, that's gonna protect him from the sound. A laser pointer to distract him as well, and turn up the TV really, really loud. I'm thinking of watching <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy 2. That's what I'm thinking of watching. Bro, you're gonna watch it with me. How are you feeling? Should we go? You sure? What do you want to get? I don't, know, I don't know what you want to get because you haven't told me. Okay, you want to get a bone. Okay, we're going to get a bone. We're going to get a bone. Oh, okay, he wants to get a bone. Oh, he wants his bone. Check him out. Yeah. Let's go for it. No wee in the shot this time, dude, please. Let's hand his treat. Do you want that, mate? No? Have a sniff. Not interested. Where is Beware of the Pug? Excuse me, do you know where we can find some good bones at all, anywhere? People are so rude, you speak to them, they don't even answer you. Look at him, standing behind that sign. Idiot. Where are they from? Um, gypsies. Yeah, they're living gypsies, house gypsies. That's what's bad you, mate. Um, and it's not interesting, we're going to do a test. Are you a fan of... What the hell that is? If you lick it, we're going to have it. Get a little lick so that can go just there. Spearmint oil? You want spearmint oil? No? Chicken flavour filled. No, not a fan of that. Okay. What about I just get you this? What is that? It's like a dinosaur bone. Try like that. Like it? Okay, so if I buy this for you, are you going to eat it or are you going to leave it? Alright, we found this. Look at the size of it compared to here. It's like the size of you, Oswald. Happy with that? Okay, so fact, I think we found a winner. The venison sausage. You found that, aren't you, Chief? So, me and the pug, Oswald, have found two products. We're going to go for this, wherever the hell that is. and whatever the hell that is. So we're going to go check that now. Come on, dude, let's go. Come on, mate. Dogs everywhere. Made it. So we've gone for some knuckles and we've gone for some venison sausages. Watch the traffic. Hopefully that'll keep him happy for a little bit. I'll let you know of his progress as we go on. Got this stuff from the vet. This is because Oswald had an ear infection, so I'm going to put some more of this in. Give it a squeeze in one, open the other flap, get nice and deep like, squeeze the other, give it a massage like this. Remember the last video when Oswald had an ear infection? Might still be there and he'll like this bit. The reason why I'm doing this is because he was a little bit hard of hearing. A little bit hard of hearing last time. Good boy. So the reason why I'm putting that stuff in his ears again is because he's still got a little bit of an ear infection, which is not good. But it is good in a way because I can put that in his ear and he, he is a bit hard of hearing when you put that stuff in because it's all gloopy. So hopefully that should stop the sound of the fireworks getting in. Can you flap your ears, look? Come on now. Give me brave tonight, dude. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. The fireworks have begun. This guy just here. Gee, if you're gonna say hello, be rude. You gonna say hello? No, not to me, to the people at home. I decided to watch Baby Driver. Why? Because it's an epic movie and it's got loud, cool music in it. Oh, that's just distract Oswald from all the fireworks from outside, so that's good. Um, and I've got, what, I don't even know what these are. What the hell are these? I mean, look at that. What is that? It looks like a really ugly cake. All right, you ready? Sit, stay, stay, stay. Good boy. What's that, man? What are you saying? So what's what's got this weird pig knee? I think it's, a, it's actually a knee of a pig. I got this bad boy. Should be a nice, peaceful night. We'll see what happens. Anyway, a few ideas for you guys because I don't really want to drug my pug. Did me to rhyme then. If you've got a pug that's uh, a bit scared of fireworks or just gets angry over them, 
I like to do it this way. To get some eardrops and sort the sound getting through, give him a weird knee, and then put on something loud on TV. Guys, like and subscribe. Peace.